draft is used to taper or angle specific faces of your designs. So for example, looking back to this controller design, if I were to jump to say a front view, now if I take a look at this design, we'll see it's actually not a exactly straight extrude. I can see it's been extruded up, but it's been extruded at some angle here it looks like. This would be an example of a draft. So drafts again are critical for a few manufacturing processes and manufacturing requirements. So for example plastics design once again any plastics component that would be injection molded would require a draft to be able to be more easily removed from the mold. Otherwise if no draft was applied or if a poor draft was applied the outer faces might scratch or break or just not be able to be removed from the mold at all. Similarly any metal casting manufacturing would require a similar draft for the same reasons. So let's take a look at creating this extrude with a given draft. So it's a very simple process to apply a draft to my designs here. I just start out with my sketch and I really just run through an extrude tool. So I'll jump into my tools and right up at the top I have extrude. And within my extrude command, the first thing it's going to ask is to select faces I'd like to extrude. So in this case, of course, just my sketch here. And tap next. And then give whatever length I would like. So we can see by default I have 25. That's given it some extrusion length or thickness here. Maybe I want to change that value to say 10 millimeters or whatever it might be. But notice right below this I have a draft angle. So by default my extrude is just a standard extrusion. It's just uh, at a draft angle of zero or there's been no draft or taper to my faces. And again I can jump into say a front view. Take a look and I can see that my extrude is just straight normal to my sketch or no draft being applied. If I change that angle now, let's say maybe 10 degrees, we can see that that draft angle of course has been applied to these faces. Maybe just to show I'll do a extreme amount, let's say 45 degrees. And we can see here now we have a quite a large draft angle being applied to our design. So you can use draft angle just in your designs to create more unique or more natural shapes if that's how you'd prefer to design. Or you can use draft angle more specifically for manufacturing reasons, again in plastics designs for injection molding or for metal casting. Uh, you would require a specific draft angle for the manufacturing process. In most cases, let's say this is a, a plastics design, somewhere between maybe two to four degree draft angle, let's say a three degree draft angle here, would be more realistic. As yes, we can see, we just have a, a smaller draft angle here, which would allow me to more easily remove this plastics component from an injection mold. Now, when I'm happy with that, I just tap done. And now I have my plastics component with a three degree draft applied about all of its extruded faces. In the next few lessons, we'll learn some additional more complex design tools.